Hi, how's it going? I threw this track together and I wanted to show you guys some basic things I did with it. This track really started out with this here guitar melody. Let me play it for you. This is with it. This is what it started out as. <laughs> And then I um, did a couple things to it. First of all, I added an EQ just to make it sound a little bit nicer. I cleaned up some frequencies I didn't want in there. Uh, I added two different delays, which basically make it echo and super cool. Uh, I use this compressor, which basically shoves down the frequencies or the sound a lot. Um, this one does it particularly a lot. I use this plugin to help it fit in the mix better. It just has an EQ, simple saturation, which is a form of distortion, and another compressor, um, which is doing something different than this, but I'm not gonna explain that. Uh, and then I have this other compressor doing something else. Uh, here's what it sounds like afterwards. <laughs> which sounds way cooler, so it did what I wanted it to. The next thing that I added was I found this cool drum loop that I used. Yeah, cool, and I liked that a lot. All I really did on it was just a little bit of EQ, um, and then I added this second kick because I felt like it wasn't really full like I wanted it to, so that's what this is what it sounds like with that kick. So there's a little more power in there. And then uh, that's it for the drums, except there's this little crash that comes in every now and then. Cool. Really cool. And then the second thing, I, or the third thing I did was this chord thing here. Um, I added some effects after it, but this is what it sounds like dry. Sounds good. And then I added these effects. I had just an EQ, uh, reverb, and this compressor. Uh, here's what it sounds like now. Cool, and then I just moved it a little bit to the right to make some space. Then I added this um, by transferring audio stuff, complicated stuff. Added this pad. And I don't have any effects on that pad, so that's just what it sounds like, and it adds a lot, super cool. Added this cool little swell. Synth just like, just so happy. I love it. Um, the last thing, I'll do that next. Um, the next thing I did was I kind of threw in this cool little melody that I thought of in my head. Stay with me. Sounds pretty bad, dry. But when you add these cool effects, I got another compressor here, another reverb, and this cool plugin that's just making it sit better, make it sound better. CQ and compressor on there. Here's what it sounds like after that. And I duplicated it, so I have one, one octave lower. That's pretty cool. And then I have a high, one octave higher. And I duplicate those one more time and then move them to the left and right respectively. And so that just makes it sound fuller. Here's what it sounds like. Super cool. Uh, then I added this bass line, super funky. I didn't do a lot to this. I basically just let the computer take care of it. And it was cool. So I have EQ, little uh, saturation and compressor. Super simple, just. And I mean, it like sounds cool. I like that. Then I added some cheesy vocals, because what song doesn't need that? I'm gonna be with you, it seems you don't reciprocate. Through some auto-tune, this gate, which basically limits the quiet stuff, so I don't get like breathing sounds and stuff. Reverb, uh, this plug-in, tuner and a compressor, just some cool stuff, and now it sounds better. This is slightly awkward, I clicked on the right thumb. Go to the ocean. I want to see you then. Cool. Then I add these awesome effects that just come in throughout the song, and you're going to hear it right now because this song is about to be played, and I'm not going to do that because I don't want to because it's cooler this way. 
So yeah, that should be everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the song. I enjoyed creating it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a cool creative exercise. And here you go. <laughs> I want you to say 